Ani month. Woohoo! Welcome to the Poker Knuckle <laughs> Show. Right, Commando. This is, I think this is his best movie. It's better than Terminator 2. This is such a good movie. However, some of the scenes, like the scene in the mall, reminds me of Scarface. I don't know why, but it just gives me that Scarface chaos movie when the two gangsters or the two snitches are running away, he's running away, the woman's running away, everyone's going in different directions. Police Say hello to my in. little phone booth. Yeah, what? for sure. Like, he just picks up a phone booth. But uh, then again, Arnie can do this. Yes. Um, I think Arnie did not take his shirt off as many times as he should have in this movie. Because normally he doesn't, doesn't wear he a shirt in all movies. Doesn't he have it off for the entire third no, act? The entire act. <laughs> should have been more, the whole, but... I like this. And the, and the opening scene where he carries yeah, the, the tray and the scene. feeds deer with Alyssa Milano. He should have, the shirt should have been off in the whole of the mall scene as well. Like, Are you on. sure that you don't want to start talking about other types of movies here? No, just that. <laughs> and what You made me forget what I was going to... Oh, yeah. I quite like the joke, they're tired. After he kills the guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. That was brilliant. And then he just walks out of a plane, as you casually do. Just, yeah. He jumps off the plane, actually. No, he walks all the way to the bottom and just goes, Woo! and then he's <laughs> off. He's just like, come on, mate. It's not that easy to get to the wheels, firstly. And you would die. And you would die. You would die. Like, I don't understand <laughs> what was going on there. That was a bit of, like, false reality, false positives and that. But, uh... The woman's role. What was the actress's Ray name? Ray Dong Chung. When I when I have it in my head correctly, Ray Dong Chung. She she made she made a few more action films, and she's actually pretty damn awesome. She should have been better in this movie. More vocal and more active. I uh, think not because taking part into the shootings as well. Yeah, that that. But I think one of the main key arguments for Commando is that it's so nicely short. There is that's a good thing. Not really. Any not movies are not sure that this is cool. character development necessary. I mean, to give my opinion on, on Commando, I have to cite the great critic Chester A. Bum, oh. who used to say, Oh my God, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! It and is. it is. It is. This it is. is. It's a great I movie. say this is the best Western action movie that has ever been produced, period. The only, so. the only action movies where you could start arguing um, that they might be better action movies are the early John Woo stuff, like uh, Hard Boiled, for instance, yeah, where Bruce, Joe Yun to Bruce Lee. Basically, well, but, I, yeah, wouldn't, I wouldn't come out. I wouldn't compare shooting action and fighting action, but that is amazing. Arnie has a clever one-liner for every single goddamn scene. What I love so much about this film is that one guy at the beginning of the film, you have to imagine that the commandos, they raid John Matrix. He's called John Matrix. Um, this home, they kidnap his daughter, that and then they have, they have one guy who then has to sit in his daughter's room and await him to tell him that they have taken his daughter because the simple fact that his daughter was, well, gone wasn't enough. So this guy has to have been looking through her room, finding or cutting out a red heart. And then he's sitting here with his tiny red heart held in his hands and says, if you want to see your daughter again, you have to cooperate, right? And Arnie is just like, Wrong. Poof. And that is one of the most awesome scenes I've seen in any action film. I love the kill where he holds the guy on his ankle and says, Hey, do you remember when I told you I'd kill you last? Yes, yes! I lied. What? It is so amazing. Um, let off some steam, Bennett. The, the whole fight scene against Bennett is so amazing. The main villain is freaking Hank Azaria from The Simpsons. One of the main voice actors of The Simpsons <laughs> is true. the villain in this movie. And he has more hair on his back than this dude has. And it is just from second one to the beginning of the end credits, a film that 
usually does get me a little teary-eyed because this is a film is. that makes me so insanely happy that I can watch this every year at least once. And I have to because it's the best action movie ever produced outside of, well, Hong Kong. Thank Let's you see. for watching. Take care. I'm now exhausted of listening to him, and I'm sure <laughs> you are. So please take a break, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye.